everybody, welcome back to Jane K Getaway. Today we're heading over to Universal. We're gonna go check out the different like kind of updates for like, the kids zone, see if there's any major uh, changes there. There's also a lot of cosplay uh, characters going around Harry Potter, like mm -hmm. Gringotts over at Hogsmeade. So I'm excited gonna, to see all that. So we're gonna go check out that for you guys and uh, yeah, check it out. Check us out next time. Thank you so much for being part of our getaway. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much. As we walk into Universal City Walk, uh, a very familiar welcoming is back. Uh, they repainted the whole upper deck. They have Universal, welcome to Universal Orlando Re Resort. Um, we are okay with it, it looks nice, but we we like the other, the, the older one better, right? I like how it had a little bit of extra flair to it. This one is just regular font. So, we're gonna go into studios now and uh, we'll see what kind of updates we got over here. All right, so as the Despicable Me, the villain con banners are out and about. Uh, they have just changed over from Shrek 4D from last year, closing it up. So, uh, unfortunately, I'm sad for this, but it's a new interaction. So, as Monster Cafe shut down after Shrek 4D, um, they're, they're gonna be making way for the new Despicable Me kind of restaurant. Uh, you can see that there are more steel beams that are put in from the iron workers. Uh, unfortunately, we do not know any of the theming that we know it's going to be a Minions restaurant. So, kind of excited to see that. Excited to see all the steel, steel beams up for the new restaurant. And that's just a little bit of what's in uh, Harry Potter. Uh, I do believe that there's gonna be a show that's gonna be popping off here just in a few minutes, but I don't know if we're gonna stay around for that. Not many updates are, are in here because they don't really change much. They do a little thing every once in a while, but not much. So, and as always, Harry Potter is busy normally. Okay, so they're always gonna wanna watch the dragon go off. So we gotta make our way through the many various groups that are standing around. So you get a glimpse of how busy Harry Potter is and how popular the franchise is from J.K. Rowling. Um, over at Epic Universe, there's gonna be another area for Harry Potter, Wizarding World. Look at all the people just looking around, taking pictures, and, and I get it, I, I totally get it. Some of this is a, uh, a bucket list for most to come see Harry Potter, come see the dragon, and that's okay. Here comes the dragon itself. Whoa! Dragon's popping off. He's gonna go right at us, guys. Rawr. Jaws. Or the Hulk. There you go. This guy got scared. As Mardi Gras begins to pop off. When does Mardi Gras start, Kenna? February 2nd. Uh, you're gonna have different various groups or tents of food and beverages that are located around the parks. No menus up yet. No menus are up, so you kind of get a snippet and kind of glimpse of what they look like. We have already made our reservations for the floats. The floats, and we will be filming that. I will try to film that. Um, we could have filmed it last year, but we didn't. So February 24th, we are gonna be going on the floats and we'll show you guys what it is to throw feeds down to the people below us. So it's gonna be fun, can't wait. Uh, it is a very overcast day today. It's not chilly, it's not hot, it is a very comfortable day. Somewhat of a kind of like a new thing. They got 
the, the boards up. They got the, the walls up for right in front of Men in Black. Um, I'm assuming that they're just doing a concrete renovation and uh, just making it nicer, I guess, as you would. Um, just kind of like the idea, Halloween Horror Nights is less than maybe nine months away. So maybe they're getting it all ready for that. We'll see. When I get money money in the future, lounge flies are going to be a collection. How much are they? Like $82 each. $82? Which? Well, it depends on what it is. A backpack is $82. This is... 79 and that's a purse. The wallets, 55. Still not bad. They're expensive. So that's for men in black. No, that's for uh, back to the stuff. And we are aware. Men in black stuff. <laughs> Look at the what? The wiener dog. Look at him. Like grandma. So we got construction walls up in front of Simpsons Ride. Uh, we don't know what's going on. Pretty sure it's going to be another concrete refurb. Uh, I think they're going to be doing a lot of the concrete around the parks. So stay with me and we'll give you all the updates you need to see. As for Woody Woodpecker, you see in the background where Panda is. The, the sign of Woody Woodpecker's Kid Zone is now wrapped up in what looks like tarps. Whatever Canada said, it looked like kind of trash bags, but it's, it's not. It, it's like full on tarps that look like trash bags. I guess as you would. Unfortunately, Woody Woodpeckers has closed down last two weeks ago, I believe. Ken has done, took off. And uh, these walls go all the way down until you hit about E.T. Uh, E.T. is like, I don't know, the shop for E.T.? It goes down all the way. So you can't really see anything majorly changes. They have all the slides up. They have the, the barrel up top there. You see some of it. So let's go see what the down here looks like. Pretty sure you're not gonna go any further because of construction being. We still have no idea about what this area is going to be. Uh, someone speculated Mario. Nope, not gonna be Mario. That's gonna be in the new Epic Universe Park. And it does make a good old right hand those construction walls. So, not really much to see over here. You see what? It ends. It ends right there. So, we are done with Woody Woodpecker's Kid Zone. So, unfortunately, moving on. So, another update for the tribute store. We kind of had an idea. We can't. We can't go inside of it. But we kind of had an idea of it being here. The, all like all signs chose it to be here it's going to be in three different shops of the uh williams of hollywood the dark room and it used to be the old uoap lounge the old uoap UA, uoap lounge has now moved over to islands of adventure but this whole area is going to be bigger larger than what it was before over there by new york so it's going to be opened up i don't know probably within the next beginning of Mardi Gras. We can only assume so. New year, new lounge, new location. Guess where we're moving? Hint. Tune into UOAP on Facebook for updates. Also, it's going to be in the park next door. Also, we betty you're gonna love it. Opening early 2023. So, we got Marilyn Monroe here. Somewhat of an interesting fact, we're over here at Islands of Adventure and we have a Mardi Gras uh, food booth. And uh, this is like kind of new for us. And uh, we're not entirely sure that it's Mardi Gras, but it does look like, in fact, Mardi Gras. So we don't know anything about it, but as always, there's no menu up right now. But I'm pretty sure in the upcoming week or so, we're gonna start seeing some more of these throughout Islands of Adventure. Okay, so we just got the pass holder lan lanyards. These are free, like while supplies last. But the thing about is, the, the thing about like stuff that they give out while supplies last, that's free for pass holders, it usually doesn't last more than a week or two. By then, everybody has come and gotten it, and it's gone. But these have been around for like a month. I didn't think that they would still have them, but they do. Where UOAP, the annual pass holders, can find their lanyard at now that the one in studios is closed, right underneath of the boat. All right, so you'll be able to come over here and get your lanyard while supplies last. So it's not gonna last forever, everybody. So come get your lanyard. 
All right, so guys, we took you guys to the studios, gave you a few updates over that way. We also came into Islands of Adventure, gave you updates on the lanyards. We saw that one food booth that was in the beginning of the park. But we're gonna say goodbye to you guys as our adventure ends here, our getaway ends here in Tootin Town. Due to- uh, It's very the, busy. Yes, it is extremely busy. So we are looking to get up out of here and end our getaway. So, thank you so much for being part of our getaway. What's up, Beard? What's up, Donkey? What's your name? I'm Joe, man. Whoa!